Welcome to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's Tome of Wisdom and Knowledge. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let enjoy this ride together. The loneliness epidemic and how dating apps backfire on men finding love. Dating apps like Tinder give you access to near endless supply of potential romantic partner at your fingertips. Swiping through hundreds of local single, singles seems like a dream come true for guys looking to play the field. However, new research shows there can be too much of a good thing when it comes to choice overload on dating apps. You can find the research link in the description of this video. The study published in a peer-reviewed journal found that being exposed to an excessive number of potential partners on dating apps can increase fear of being single, decreasing self-esteem, and leading to feelings of partner choice overload. Let's dive into the key findings. In the first part of the study, a survey of 667 adults age 18 to 67, the researchers found that more frequent use of dating apps was associated with the perception that the number of potential partners is nearly infinite. This aligns with dating apps marketing about giving you access to vast pools of singles. As Rolo Tomasi writes in his book, The Rational Male, for most of human evolution, men's intrasexual competition was a matter of hopes, saying many prayers and leaving a hell of a lot up to chance. Today, for perhaps the first time in human history, you can reliably gauge your potential prospects daily. But here's the catch. The researchers hypothesize perceiving an abundance of potential partners could paradoxically increase fear of being single. They theorize that many with so many options, daters would feel immense pressure to find the perfect partner, leading to anxiety about ending up alone if they can't lock someone down. The survey data back this up, showing that the more participants perceive partners as abundant due to dating app exposure, the higher their fears of being single were. To bolster these findings, the researchers experimented with 248 adults aged 18 to 38. They randomly assigned participants to view either 11 dating app profiles, low availability, 31 profiles, moderate, or 91 profiles, high availability. The results were striking. Compared to the low availability condition, those exposed to 91 potential partners reported significantly higher fear of being single and a lower state of self-esteem at that moment. As the authors summarize, excessive options not only influence how individuals feel about the decision or choice alternatives, it even influences how they feel about themselves and their choices to find a relationship. This aligns with the writings of Richard Cooper, author of The Unplugged Alpha. He argues that modern dating creates a slimy neurosis whereby men derive their sense of worth and validation from their ability to sleep around. The experiment also found a linear effect of partner availability 
on feelings of partner choice overload. The more profiles participants saw, the more overwhelmed and distracted they felt by the number of options. In the words of G.S. Youngblood, author of The Art of Embodiment for Men, the modern sexual marketplace is a nightmarish hellscape where everything becomes a receding horizon that never satiates. We are in a state of agitated desire that forbids satisfaction. Here is where I think the research misses the mark. If you are in the top 10% of guys, the Chads and Tyrones women are chasing, then I can see a man suffering from choice overload, hitting it with as many women as they want. When you are in the selection driver's seat, there is little incentive to make a single choice. In contrast, the other 85% are men are lucky if a woman who matches them bothers to respond to the contact message he sends her. So how can you avoid these negative consequences as a dating app user? The authors suggest capping yourself at browsing 30 or so profiles per session, as that was the highest number that didn't significantly impact self-esteem or the fear of being single compared to seeing just 11 profiles. As one quote from the paper suggests, so to avoid undesired outcomes, dating app users should stop swiping somewhere after 31 profiles. The researchers didn't find that selectivity in mate preferences moderated any of these effects. However, they speculate that maximizing tendencies, having an ultimate checklist partner in mind, could acerbate feelings of overload and dissatisfaction. Now, it's not men who have these large, unreasonable, ultimate partner checklists. It's women. How many men are simply happy to go on a date with a woman they find physically attractive and mentally attractive? When you compare men to women, it doesn't take much to make us happy. It's worth noting that while the experimental sample included both men and women, the survey hinted that men may perceive partner availability as even higher than women do. As the authors state, men tend to overestimate the availability of potential sexual or romantic interest while women do not show this bias. Therefore, the effects of partner abundance may commence earlier in men. Well, yeah, look at all these women on the site are fed, and we are fed the lie of we have one million profiles to choose from and never asking the important question, how many of them are real and how many of them are active? So for guys specifically, being more conscious of the abundance mentality ingrained by dating app culture could be especially important for avoiding choice overload. Again, women are the ones on dating apps who, hold, who have up to 25 matches an hour and hundreds of guys competing for their attention each week. With this in mind, how can a woman not be the ones who suffer from choice overload? For the average Joe, I don't see it as a real issue. What I do see as a real issue for most men in the 85% is the damage to their self-esteem since one can only suffer so much rejection or being ignored before the damage sets in. At the end of the day, dating apps provide modern women and a few men with unprecedented choice in romantic partners. However, this research reveals some potential downsides to that overabundance of choice that all users should be aware of. While having options is generally preferred over scarcity, at a certain point, the endless swiping 
can become overwhelming, sap your self-esteem, and even stroke fears of ending up alone, especially in women soon to hit 30. Which is ironic since this is the total opposite of the goal of using a dating app in the first place. In the comments section below, please tell me what you think and share your dating app experiences. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least two friends who need to see this or need to view the videos on my channel. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the whole story and the link, just in case it's not there by the time I get to it, email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and please support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, please check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up, which helps me continue to create more content.